Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namaste Well I'm still here in Rishikesh. It's a nice rainy morning. You can still hear the thunder growling contentedly. <laughs> and uh, I want to announce this new series on Shiva Purana. Shiva Purana is very extensive. It's much longer than the uh, Bhagavat Purana or Srimad Bhagavatam, 24,000 verses as opposed to 18,000. And it's published in four volumes, about 2,000 pages, and very nicely translated by or edited by J.L. Shastri and uh, a whole committee of translators. Because it's such an extensive work, no one person could do it all. Now, why Shiva Purana? Well, that's the 64,000 rupee question. <laughs> because if you look at our channel here, you see that over the years, we have gone into many different practices, many different scriptures, many different views, all centered on the subject of self-realization. In the beginning, we started from ethics and the call of the friend and ontology and how to learn things and existential condition of man and so on and so forth. So many subjects. But as we refined our tastes and as we expanded our knowledge to include more and more different topics, we came to see that they're generally divided into a spectrum, that some are meant for people who are very much engrossed in material conception of life, but others are for the people who are ready for liberation, who are done with this material world, who are finished, who want to get out of here. <laughs> And this is the category of Shiva Purana. Shiva Purana is not for those who want material benefits, although it does provide material benefits, but only for the purpose of facilitating self-realization. Shiva Purana is full of deep transcendental secrets. You will not find anywhere in any other scripture and it's also full of beautiful prayers by advanced devotees, powerful demigods, and liberated souls. And these prayers alone are worth the effort of reading it. But also the histories. Purana means basically a history, although it's not a chronological narration like Western history. But rather, it's selected examples from different periods of the universe, some quite ancient, going all the way back to the creation, and others relatively more recent, like in the uh, Dvapar Yuga or the beginning of Kali Yuga. So all these narrations, though, are selected with one purpose in mind, to enthuse us for self-realization and ultimate liberation from material existence. So. I'm going to keep this very short because if I was to get into details, it could go very long. <laughs> and actually, everything you need to know about Shiva Purana is contained in Shiva Purana itself. So I've included links to download the four volumes of Shiva Purana, and I encourage you to download and read them independently. But I'm also going to read excerpts 
not the whole thing, but a kind of condensed version, and post here on YouTube as a playlist, so that if you want to, you can just sit back and listen to the whole thing. So, you should enjoy this Shiva Purana, which is the purport, the meaning, the deep significance of the Panchakshara Mantra, Aum Nama Shivaya. Sometimes it's called the six-syllable mantra, but that means it is including Aum. Aum, of course, is the significator of Brahman. And Nama means obeisances, salutations. And, of course, Shivaya means unto Shiva. Shiva is the transcendent Lord. He is Brahman, who has assumed a form and qualities for the purpose of creating, maintaining, and destroying the material world. And that he does through his Shakti. So, as we've talked about many times, Shiva and Shakti are simply two forms of Brahman. One without qualities, Nirguna, and Shakti with qualities, Saguna. And together, they are the Supreme. And there's no other Supreme other than them. And the Vedas, the four Vedas, and the Upanishads make this point very clearly. And ultimately, there are no differences between the self that is in us and Shiva Shakti. That is the ultimate truth. And any other version from that is actually not supported by the Vedas. So, I hope you will take shelter and enjoy this wonderful narration and that you will also get the greatest benefit, which is that you become qualified for liberation, moksha, and attain the personal audience of the Lord. Aum Tatsat. Aum Shaktihi Aum. Aum Namah Shivaya.